Oh yeah, while I'm also at it, might as well compare a couple things. This is a Wii U tablet. Comes with the Wii U. Has so many wonderful little buttons. Even a stylus. Has its own speakers and headphone jack. You can use it to play the Wii U without even having a screen attached to it. At least for some games. <coughs> Splatoon is not one of them because it requires <coughs> usage of both screens. <coughs> Splatoon is not one of them because it requires the usage of both screens. Anyway, this is a huge raw tablet. This one's a PlayStation 3 one specifically. But it's got a little built-in stylus and drawing area. Let's make a gay happy face. Ah, aha, aha, aha. Um, no. How do you tell if it's a gay or regular happy face? The truth is you can't. You can never tell. Not unless they tell you. At least that's that's my experience with the majority of gay people I've met. I never knew. So, the UDRAW tablet isn't made to be used as a controller. It has controller functionality just to allow you to navigate the basics. But it is intended to be used strictly as a tablet. That being said, I would find it pretty hilarious if somebody won a Street Fighter Championship just by limiting themselves to the D-pad and these buttons on a UDRAW tablet. That would be pretty hilarious. Comfort-wise, it actually feels very similar to the uh, Wii U. Let me just get a good grip here. Comfort-wise, I mean, it's playable. It's kind of like one of those big uh, controllers that they used to have for uh, old Atari systems. Eh. Let's do one last comparison.